Biff, look at that smile. What was different <laughs> tonight, Biff? Honestly, that is the best game I've seen there in a very long time. And no matter about quality, if them players go out there every week and put in the, the effort that they did, and that should be standard for a Man United team, and that's what Ten Hag was going on about last week, the effort and the attitude wasn't there. That is the effort and attitude. Every single one of them players, despite the quality, went out there and gave everything. They were absolutely knackered by the end of the game, but the work rate, the commitment, Eric Ten Hag, brilliant performance. There was one thing I could say, he should have brought the subs on a little bit earlier. I thought you could see we're tiring, and if he brought the subs on a little earlier, he might have secured the clean sheet but what a performance what a performance I, I, it's just the running and the attitude and smashing into tackles and the atmosphere it was amazing against a very strong Liverpool team by the way not had a good start to the season but I mean what the season they had last year and the way that we've the form we've been on this is the kick start now to get the confidence in the players and, and keep kicking forward it was it was quite obvious that we took the momentum from outside the stadium early on yeah. the atmosphere went into Old Trafford tonight and we made that the cauldron. I don't think I've heard Old Trafford like that for a long time, Ben. I can't remember the last time. I honestly can't. And I think the atmosphere straight from the off got the players going. They believed that they could score against that Liverpool team. We got the opportunity early on with Alanga. He should have stuck it. And to be honest, at that point, I thought, oh, are we just not? You've got to take them chances when you're against Liverpool. You have to do it. But the chances came again because the players were positive. Out of possession, we were aggressive into the tackles positionally we were brilliant compared to previous times we've seen us but in possession we were looking forward we were confident and we went at their defenders as well you went at Arnold we went um, at Van Dijk and Gomez and I thought he really paid off the runs that Rashford were making in behind as well I just thought no wonder they were knackered because the runs that we, we, we usually see lack of movement it's clear that Eric Ten Hag has had a very strict training week with them and it really did pay off that was it you mentioned him there Shout out to Marcus Rashford tonight. He has come under some criticism recently, but like I said, then time seemed to stand still when he went through. How pleased are you for Marcus that he put that one away tonight? He deserved it off the back of his performance. I've said this with Rashford. If he puts effort and work rate in every game, he's got the pace, and, and that pace is such an advantage for him. And yes, he's not brilliant when he gets through on goal. He often can miss the target. We know he's not a clinical finisher like Anthony Martial or even Jaden Sancho when he put that goal away. That's not really Rashford's expertise, but with the pace, if he just places that ball, he will get goals. And I thought he really deserved it because first half technically he wasn't great but the running he was doing and, and and the runs he was making pulling players out of positions and and linking up the play I thought he did brilliant and again Rashford we've criticized him for not tracking back he was tracking back every single time I thought the whole team set an example and do you know what I want to shout out Bruno Fernandes he might have given the ball away I was I was nearly screaming at him from the stands when he gave it away in that Liverpool third when he was holding on for it for no reason he makes mistakes but he is a leader and in that midfield he ran it I've never seen honestly the, the running he was doing it's standard and what you, it's what you should expect he set the example for the whole team with his direction his running and just just the work rate he put in I thought he really did boss that game from the midfield there were calls for Ten Hag early on does he change his style does he change his system he made some bold shouts in terms yep. of player selection who he dropped at the start for you is that a good sign going forward? It's a man who's convinced in his own philosophy going forward. That I think is big for United. I mean, would you be impressed with no Ronaldo, no Maguire, no Shaw? Big calls for a big game. Not starting Ronaldo or Maguire a massive calls, especially when it comes to Ronaldo. If, if that would have gone wrong today, you would have had the pundits on Sky Sports saying he, he made the wrong decision. How do you leave out the, the best striker in the world? You would have had that, but he, he went with his decision. And by the way, throwing Tyrell Malasia in, who is a young left back, and he trusted him throughout the whole game. He never subbed him for sure. It's, and even though sometimes you saw Salah get through, but he stuck to his job. And I thought the pace that he showed, the aggression he showed, sometimes, yeah, Salah might have got through, but it's Mo Salah. And I thought the way he stuck to his man and stuck to his position the whole way through, he never tired. I think Shaw's got a problem there because the attitudes are just, are just miles off. Varane next to Martinez, we've not seen Martinez, he's, he's come under criticism, we've seen the player that he can be and fair enough Liverpool don't really have a strong, big, tall big striker, if Nunes was in there it, it might have been different but I can only judge off what I saw and that Martinez performance was absolutely brilliant, the aggression, the way he got tight to players, the way him and Varane were talking, the way that the whole back four were playing for each other including De Gea as well I thought De Gea was coming off his line and he felt more confident with them in front of him and I thought they all worked so well together and it's no surprise that Martinez comes into his own when he's next to Varane who's composed he, he made brilliant runs his position was great there's a few times where I thought Firmino was going to get him behind him but no he stuck to his player and both of them first to every ball first to the headers 
you didn't need Maguire in there. It, the, the difference, the confidence in that back four, and you're against Liverpool here, by the way. You're not against Brentford or Brighton. You're against Liverpool. The confidence that they had together and what spread throughout the whole pitch. Brilliant on the ball, brilliant airily. Um, tackles were aggressive. I thought the, the centre-back partnership performance was absolutely brilliant. Changes for Southampton, Beth. Is there any? We've got a few pay- We've got a few players that from substitute appearances today, like Martial, probably got a shout. Are you changing anything going forward now? Yeah, I, I'm starting Anthony Martial. I thought when he came on. By the way, Alanga, we know the quality isn't always there, but he had the confidence to go at to go at Trent. He should have had a goal, and the confidence he had to go at Trent and, and, and get him on that yellow card. I thought it. He, he, he was good. He wasn't brilliant. He's, he, 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 is, he hasn't got the ability of the likes of Sancho or Martial, but he did his job. And when Martial came on, the, the, the way that the front line played, I just think it steps up a level because Martial is so aware of his surroundings. That ball through to Rashford, by the way, don't take that for granted. A lot of players can't do that. That header on as well, then he flicked it on when he was through and could have scored again. I thought was he just links that play. We've said it so many times. Martial, you've said it, plays better with Rashford, and Rashford plays better with Martial. I think Bruno plays better with Martial. He kind of links it all from from the top. And you need a striker that can hold on to the ball. Him and Sancho are quite similar. When they get the ball, they rarely lose it. They always find a pass, and I think that is so important. I think the other strikers ahead of him are just going to get so many more opportunities when he's in the team. So that's the change I'd be making, and also I'd be dropping Scott McTominay out for Casemiro. I think put Casemiro in that team and, and, and if you put the effort in and you allow Ted Hard to work for these players this is what they can do don't get me wrong if it reverts back to the way we played against Brightford and Brentford when that fitness that work rate wasn't there then the, you're going to get a poor result because the Premier League is a tough league yeah. but that's just proves to them out there at Old Trafford with the fans behind you and putting in a 100% work rate commitment committing to Eric Ten Hag's plan that they can they can get results out of the games and I think Casemiro and Martial it just adds that quality up um, a little bit more and yeah it's great to see you smiling I'm happy I'm happy I might it might all go behind me next week but I think I'm hoping this is the start of the confidence kicking in for these players you've got hope in it it kills you doesn't it cling on to it cheers for coming on thank you